we needed to move our solar panels from our barrel boat to the top of the cabin on our new pontoon houseboat. We also got two more upgrades for the boat, so stick around to the end of the video. The wires from the solar panels had to go through our new cabin's roof, but we needed it to be watertight, so we bought one of these little waterproof deck seals. It was really easy to install, and it actually worked perfectly, so that was a plus. In the event that water did get through the roof, we coiled up all the wires into what they call a drip loop, so any incoming water wouldn't travel down the wire and fry all of our electrical stuff. We had six wires that we had to pull through the roof, which were a positive and a negative for each of our three arrays. Once the solar panel wires were in the boat, we ran them down the wall and wired them into the solar charge controller, which is as simple as stripping the ends of the wires and then tightening some screws down to hold the wires in place in the charge controller. Our last boat's electrical was basically hot garbage, and we wanted to be a little more organized with this one. We used little plastic clips that we could screw into the plywood and put the zip ties through to organize the cables really good. We ran into two problems when wiring the solar panels, but before we get into those, one of the upgrades that I talked about earlier was we actually got a door handle. Now I wouldn't have to fumble around like an idiot trying to open the door with a key ring. Anyways, back to the two problems. The first problem we ran into when wiring the boat was we didn't have a good spot to put the third charge controller. The second problem was that our helm couldn't move all the way to the front of the boat because the steering cable was actually a few inches too short. So we had to take apart the steering wheel again and then lower it on the helm to get the additional few inches to lengthen up our steering cable so we could push the whole helm into the front of the boat. So we actually killed two birds with one stone by lowering the steering wheel on the helm. Now that the steering wheel was lower, we pushed the helm forward and made plenty of space for the third charge controller. We needed a place to mount it, so we cut a piece of plywood with a jigsaw that's battery was dying as we were using it to cut. We screwed down the plywood and then the charge controller and then one of the little clip thingies to organize the wires. And it's not perfect, but it looks a lot better than the last boat did, so it's progress. The batteries were already at 100%, so the panels were just applying a small float charge, but we wanted to actually test out the panels, and I'm extremely impatient, so we cut out our first window in the wall in front of the helm so we could take it for a test spin and drain the batteries to see if the charge controllers were actually working properly. The second upgrade for the boat was we finally got fenders like real boat people. Now you're not going to want to miss out on what we did next, so click on that next video to see the progress. 